is our celebration party, and we're here to celebrate all the work that our network has accomplished. So whether you're working towards sustainable food, whether you're looking for infrastructure, whatever um, community building that you're doing, we want to celebrate that. So that's what tonight is for, and uh, I just wanted to start off by saying thanks for coming out. We want to celebrate that spirit and uh, give kudos. Let's give a round of applause to Mustard Seed and Philip for bringing the food. Yeah. Yeah. It's even more delicious than usual, which is really hard to do. Um, I want to thank the, uh, the Trophy family, Jill and Tony, for allowing us to use the space. And Michael's back there slang a drink, so take your bartender. And uh, we have some more announcements, so stick around. Everybody. Happy holidays. Um, so we have a few, a few activities for you and I also want to make a note that there are some compostable items. Um, the plates that are uh, beige and the forks that are beige, those can go in the compost bins. Uh, Dave's holding up the compost bin over here. So we're just trying to keep our waste down to a minimum. Um, and yeah, so we're also doing this project over here on the far wall. The mayor has called for the Blue Ribbon Task Force to gather ideas for the future of Akron. So we just set up a little table over there so you can fill out a little card and we'll mail it into the mayor for you if you have any ideas for the future of Akron because this is a really, really huge year for Akron. First new mayor in about 30 years and the Interbell is shutting down. So um, I hope you have <laughs> something to share with our, our new mayor, maybe just a little welcome to office if you'd like. So we have color pencils and markers and stuff over there for you to fill this fill this out. Hi, thanks Jessica. Um, hi, so my name is Beth um, and I am introducing a little uh, activity that we're doing. Now this is definitely a different games meeting than every month. We usually have speakers come in and present um, things that are going on either around our community or to help educate our community around different th issues concerning sustainability. Um, but so every December we have some sort of celebration of our community which is where you're at right now and I want to reiterate what uh, David said and say thank you for all the work that you do all year long. Um, without you Akron would not be nearly as cool a place. And, <laughs> and um, to report a little bit on that, we have uh, right over by where Karen and Philip are standing, um, the Gaines Tree of Knowledge. And so each part of the tree, I don't, you know, I don't think you can really see it up here. Could we dim the light again? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go. So this is a really badly taken picture of that tree. Um, but so each part of it is a different um, thing that you can report on. So the roots um, are what are the values that drove you towards sustainability. Thank you. Um, and then the bark is who makes up our sustainable community in Akron, and that's both people and organizations or businesses, different things like that. Who are the players of sustainability in our community? Um, the branches are uh, great things that you learn about sustainability. Um, the leaves are to write things that you would like to learn about sustainability. The fruit is what you've done towards sustainability this year. And that can be anything from, um, you know, for example, Big Love had half a, tr half a bag of trash, which is a half less than we had the year before, and we also had twice as many people. Um, or it can be uh, starting to do composting at home, right? So whatever your scale is, nothing's too small or too big um, to put in there. And then the blossoms are what you want to do towards sustainability in the next year, so looking forward. And then the water drops are what skills you have for our sustainable community. Um, so whether that is uh, gardening or certain garden techniques or uh, you know, 
creating, being able to do solar energy, whatever that might be. So with all of that, you can see they're like little pieces and then you wanna piece them onto this makeshift outline of a tree and then we'll report this back out. I'm gonna say 7.30 to 7.45 since we're just getting started. And so feel free to mingle and enjoy one another, um, network, talk to one another, see what you guys are all doing because everyone in this room is doing really amazing stuff. Um, and please, you know, spend a couple of minutes of your time to fill out some of these pieces to make up our tree that is our community. So thank you guys so much for coming today.
a group of people who are doing it because we love it. So kudos to all of you and I love you. So Beth, take it away. Is there anyone that cannot hear me? I cannot. Huh? No? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my protester voice might work. Okay, so um, I'm just going to read the fruit of what of the things that we've done in the last year um, and the blossoms of what we hope to do in the next year. And then the rest of this we'll put into a document and send out. Um, okay, so part of parts of what we've done this past year. Half a bag of trash, 2,000 people with big love, um, ran st and started the North Hill Farmers Market, workshops and education, grow more food locally, brought a plate, fork, and water bottle to tonight's Gaines meeting, educated, <laughs> others, educated others on ways to sustain life, designed and installed sustainable gardens while something about it. Okay, sorry. Can't necessarily read people's handwritings. I'm just going to clarify. Um, used no-till techniques in gardening. Uh, started a hydroponic farm. Seed to business and to markets. Cool. Uh, zero waste at Spring Gardens Ch Children's Fest. Made 500 plates a zero waste event. Leave seed pods of flowers that support wildlife during winter months. Lectured, taught, and implemented sustainable landscapes and permaculture design. Composting at home, organic gardening, planting plants that attract pollinators. Uh, installed a rain barrel. Worked on Blueberry Hill. <laughs> um, open streets, community gardening, big love, social networking, better block, uh, 500 plates, increase awareness about recycling and composting, consult with Countryside Conservancy on greening and building their new garden education site. Um, again, some big love, zero waste efforts, and zero waste at Porch Rocker, zero waste at Peace Week, zero waste at Akron Yoga Summit, zero waste at Spring Garden Waldorf School, um, and composting. Someone built a stove, which is impressive. Um, Edgerton Community Garden, exclamation point. <laughs> Implemented a two pen system, refiling fountain pen ink cartridges. Uh, I, re I purchased a reusable water bottle earlier this year and used it every day. This reduces my plastic consumption. Uh, compost for three families. Painted exterior of house with eco-friendly paint. Recycling and adaptive reuse of home furnishings. Community beautifications with perennials. Plant swapping. Energy star appliances two permaculture certificates and city repair education, and got Porch Rocker to be zero waste, raise even more gains awareness. So that's awesome. Everyone give each other a round of applause. So we're all doing really wonderful things, and if there seems like there are parts of that that you're really interested in that you haven't seen or that you didn't know about, um, please continue to network with the people in this room even after we're done doing this little shindig here because I'm sure that'll be pretty quick for you to find who did those things and we'd love for everyone to be able to work together so our resources go as far as they can. So in that spirit, we're going to read what people plan to do for the next year. Uh, they create a regenerative and educational design for the Interbelt. Next year, I plan to map out routes around Akron that allow me to ride my bike more. However, I've already noticed that many businesses in Akron do not have bike racks. Bringing real food to people and places with accessibility issues. More, more people, less trash, big love. Help Glendale steps sway, with swales. Um, more community gardens, add a rain barrel to or at an, our garden. 
bringing thinker, thinkers together with doers and making great stuff happen. More compost, media coverage of Sustainable Akron. Attend sustainability symposiums and learn of and guide my company toward more sustainable projects slash mindsets slash practices. Expand to include a second greenhouse. More gardens, low mow grass. Discover local sustainable lumber sources. Follow up with Rust Belt Riders about doing commercial composting in Akron. Taking first steps towards a leave the leaves initiatives. Leaves are not trash, exclamation point. Uh, be part of the interconnected flow that brings all life together and fully realize the sanctity of it. Start my own business of participatory permaculture design. Another year of Edgerton Community Garden. Shrink lawn space. Uh, doing the Big Love City Repair Project. Teach permaculture classes. I want to create a social innovati innovation network that teaches non-traditional students slash people in general how to build things that are solutions to community problems using resources we already have. Permaculture progress. More zero waste events waste at events locally and beyond, zero waste tour, um, plant a thousand or a small forest in Summit County, talk to more groups about zero waste, um, to offer permaculture education and grow a local slash regional permaculture network and city. All right, everyone give each other a hand of applause. That's really wonderful. I think everyone has really great, as, as, everyone has really great motives for the next year. And I really hope that through this network, we can really um, help one another out in what we hope to do for the next year. Because uh, that's the beauty of games is that we're able to come together and really do the best for our community that we possibly can with what we have. And I want to thank all of you for being a part of this community, um, especially in times like this where there seems to be a lot of violence and negativity in the world. It's incredibly important to build this positive, beautiful community that we have here. And I want to thank you for being the hope of Akron. Thanks.